Hey, wine friends, Stephen here for the Napa Valley Wine Academy content team with my weekly update on what is new in membership. You may have noticed I'm doing it live from an airport, so please excuse any background noises you may hear. So we've got some really cool stuff this week. Our trip has taken us into southwest France, where we've got some really spectacular topographical maps. Uh, what I love about these maps is not only are they incredibly detailed and accurate based on the INAO, uh, regulations but the topography is both beautiful and really informative so this is our Garonne map so Garonne obviously starts uh, in Bordeaux but then it travels southeast into France and you've got all these little regions some of which you may have heard of but I'm sure uh, a lot of you have not heard about a lot of them because uh, a lot of them are a little less known so really beautiful if you've got a little section of the Mediterranean there in the corner the other map I wanted to show you real quick was the Dordogne. This is a little closer to Bordeaux. Obviously, the other uh, famous river uh, which goes through um, goes through Bordeaux. People have often heard of Bergerac, um, you know, Basilac, but there's some other smaller, lesser known regions there as well. So, really beautiful maps. It, I think it tells a tale about what the, what's happening in the region based on its topography. We have. A new episode from our friends at Wine Masters TV. It's their food and wine series, The Sources in the Glass, and it's all about Manchuela. So, of course, this series is my favorite cooking show because it talks all about the you know local cuisine and wines, and they just have a lot of fun. 30 minutes, great cooking show. Check that one out. And finally, we have our latest article. We get now past the halfway point of our 52 uh, piece series on classic cocktails and how to make them. This week we're looking at the espresso martini, which is more of a modern classic. It's been around since the 1980s. And our new ingredient, if you've been keeping up, is coffee liqueur. So it's uh, quite an easy recipe to put together, but really, really tasty. And they're very popular. Uh, so certainly check that out as well. Otherwise, have a fantastic week. Drink something tasty, a glass of wine, an espresso martini, I'll be back next week with my next update. Cheers.